Well, how fast is the playback? Well, let's uh, take a look at a movie here really quick. Oh, wait a minute, that's not a movie at all. Those are actually stills rolling by extremely fast. Trust me, those are those are individual stills. So, I'm using the joystick right now. Of course, you could uh, hit the uh, press in for 100% magnification on the back focus button. Um, using the non-vertical grip, I've actually had quite a few people ask me, say, okay, without the non, without the vertical grip, which gives you the boost ability, you still do have a boost mode in the camera right now I've turned the boost performance on to normal and then I've turned it back on and turn it back off again you still have the ability to go into a form of boost mode on the regular XT2 um, how's performance right now I'm actually shooting a sequential backups it's a writing uh, writing uh, lossless compressed raw files and uh, full-size fine JPEGs to uh, equally mirror image to card one and to card two. Your buffer is going to bottom out even using the fastest cards because I don't have the vertical grip. I mean, these are not XQD cards, but they are ultra fast sand disk. And let me show you those in a second. I'm absolutely so happy did not have that capability before to actually. You see, this is an issue doing this number where I have the play button up here if I want to hit play. Okay, do this one. Yeah, that's actually a pain when I'm actually. Shooting, I want to hit this button right here like I can on my Nikons. Hit that, go into play mode. When I go out of it, I just depress the shutter release button halfway. So that is awesome. So right now I'm going to go into play and I'm going to use my joystick, or I could use, you know, like you did on your XT1, I could use uh, my uh, four rocker pads uh, around my menu OK button, but I'm actually going to use my joystick. And you think, well, that's that's a movie. No, that's actually how fast a lot, a lot, a lot of stills are rocking by. Okay, now these are the cards that you want to get. They're actually being replaced now by the 380 megabit per second. There is a faster right speed Lexar card than this. Can't stand Lexar for many, many valid reasons. So these have been replaced by ones that are wee faster or they're Mark 300. The only problem is that they're not available yet. And the problem with these is, is that because the 300s are coming out, but they're not out yet, these are basically also not available. So you may be forced to buy Lexar cards. Uh, but anyway, these are the cards that I'm using. Now, uh, if you want to have, now I don't shoot JPEGs, but this is a question that people have asked me. They said, uh, well, what about just using the camera without the vertical grip? If you just want to pop, turn on fine a JPEG, and shoot, you basically have a bottomless buffer on this camera without the vertical grip in boost mode. Because all it's writing is uh, JPEG files instead of, you know, huge uh, 30, meg uh, 30 megabyte uh, uh, lossless compressed raw files and fine JPEGs, which is how I shoot. So that is the answer to that one. Also, the cup, the iCup on the Fuji uh, X-T2 is almost the same as the extended eye cup for purchase for the X-T1 except it is more shallow in other words it's bowl shape as far as the X-T1 actually comes out further on either side uh, than this so they actually made it exactly the same except a little bit more shallow as far as its bowl shape goes okay thanks for watching and yeah that is not a movie that is those are a bunch of those are a bunch of uh, fine uh, fine uh, files are rocking by there it's pretty damn fast, I'll tell you what. Okay, thanks for watching.